there this is going to be a daily reading for friday march 15th and i want to just let you guys know a few announcements i don't really announcements this is general you may not resonate with every motherfucker don't stretch it i you know you guys know this i do daily so because time is an illusion today's reading may not resonate for friday with you maybe last week's one resonates with you today you see what i'm saying watch all of the readings with this being said i posted the aries reading yesterday and i gotta tell you guys i had this serious realization when i was on my live last night on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi if you want to follow me i had this serious realization of holy fuck that is actually feels collective for not just aries people but it feels like it could be for everybody during aries season so for soulmates twin flames for everybody so if you haven't watched that reading go watch it it was amazing anyways let's get right into it now you know not only is time an illusion but also this illusion right here of me having five roles right here is also a fucking illusion can i just point that out okay because first of all i woke up bloated like two days ago uh, right before i'm about to go to freaking san fran and i was watching my video i posted earlier tell me why i looked like when i I'm, i know this is ridiculous but i had to just point that out like that's an illusion <laughs> it is i think i'm gonna get my period at any second so i'm bloated oh my god this is m over here and i shared with you guys that um he didn't have no motherfucking sweatpants we stood in line one hour when he came here to hawaii last month in the motherfucking rain my lashes were barely hanging on and they were falling off like this but we love him so much we stood in line for a fucking hour and there were no motherfucking sweatpants bruno mars had sweatpants which i wear every day 75 dollars but that's not these these are my gray yoga pants anyways marshall i need sweatpants Queen of Pentacles first card. It's because I'm sitting to you guys, okay? And then his shirt, I bought. Uh, this is a size small because I like it fitted, you know. And so it's giving the illusion of. I'm sorry. I apologize, you guys. I know it's not about me. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She is a bad bitch manifesting. This Queen of Pentacles has an offer that she's sitting on. Something came out and I didn't look at it yet. She's sitting on an offer is what I feel. Love, career, I can't even talk with retrograde. I don't know if this is love or career, but she's sitting on an offer. It's something solid too. So this would be someone offering commitment. This would be someone offering a job. Someone offering something where there could be a contract involved. She's sitting on some type of an offer. It's pending because it's pending her saying yay or nay. Ooh, Queen of Wands, she got to make a decision. Queen of Wands is moves, honey. Money moves, like Cardi B said, honey. I run this shit like cardio. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. that's what i just heard in my head because it's like you cannot sit like this and make no decisions and no moves that's not a boss bitch that's not an alpha you know that's not someone who is successful you don't become successful by being scared to make a choice you become successful by taking risks and making moves okay we trust our instincts we use discernment but at the same time sometimes there is just a risk Queen of Wands is passionate. She makes moves. There's a decision here that needs to be made. Not just a choice of yes or no, but actually taking the initiative. See, I told you a choice has to be made. Someone gets a breakthrough. It's their big break, let's say. Or they meet a person. It's like the big break. Or it's going to be truth and clarity, okay? But this is also discernment. It's a sword. I told you. They have to make a decision. She's sitting on something. Is it a dangling? <laughs> or is that just me? I'm not sitting on no dangling though right now. I'm single hunty, okay? Waiting on motherfucking Mr. Right to come in. He about to be Mr. I'm gonna smack your fucking face for taking so long. She's she's scared. Don't get me wrong, no, this doesn't have to be a female, this could be a male. Energy is fluid. 
Whoever this is is scared. They are, they're afraid they're gonna make the wrong choice is what I just heard. I'm afraid this is not the right thing. I'm afraid that I'm gonna choose wrong. Well, what if I choose this and this? The sword is discernment also, so you're gonna weigh out the pros and the cons. You wouldn't make a stupid ass decision, would you? No, we wouldn't, because we don't roll like that. We've learned from our mistakes, but at the same time, does it mean that every single thing that's gonna happen in our life is only going to go a particular way? No, sometimes we have to take L's. But remember, we never take losses. There's there's always a lesson behind it. So I always win because even when I lose, I win because I learn. It will allow you to have a different mindset to be like, I tried this and maybe I struck out, but at least each time I swung for the fences. And now I know to hold my bat a little higher, to focus on the ball a little more. Like little things, like you're going to learn, even if it's... Even if it doesn't turn out to be what you think it is. Knight of Wands. Someone wants a decision quickly, though. Because Knight of Wands is fast, aggressive energy. It's almost like they're saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And be careful, because during retrograde, it's not the best time to make big life-changing decisions or sign big contracts. But we cannot stop living our life because it's fucking retrograde. I mean, Marshall, can you work with me here? It's all rolling up and shit. I don't mind you roll up on me, honey, but not on my stomach on YouTube, please. Y'all know I got a pretty flat fucking stomach when I'm not bloated, but... Someone wants you to make a very big decision, and I feel like you do have the right to weigh it out. And if you can drag this shit out till after Mercury goes direct, I would. But if it's time sensitive and you can't, then have, if it's a contract... Have it like checked over with a fine tooth comb. If this is a person, I mean, if this is a person, tell them wait, tell them cooter motherfucking jets. So if it's a person, whatever. But time sensitive contracts, you're gonna have to kind of go over it with a fine tooth comb. Oh, abundance, bitch. Oh, yes, impressed. The Empress is birth of a new cycle, birth of abundance, being abundant, having a lot of offers. She's glorious. It's just, I, I literally just saw this. Like She walks into a room and all eyes turn, all eyes look at her. And it's not because she's physically beautiful. It's because her beauty and her strength and her power comes from within. She walks in a room and she shifts the energy when she walks in. You talk to her. You're captivated because her energy is like, gets you just like that. You're hooked. She has this energy. That's why people are gravitating around her. That's why people are offering her things. It's like this season of abundance for many of you guys, okay? Because you're just attracting it. Your energy is attracting it. Okay. You guys better be careful too because somebody here might get pregnant. I'm sorry, but I just saw that in my head because the Empress is also a pregnant bitch. Eight of Wands. Communication. People may be wanting to communicate with you, but be holding back also. They have fears, Nine of Swords, you know? They're sitting on an offer that they want to extend out, so you got to take it as it resonates. Eight of Wands, communication, wanting to move forward with something. Wanting There's a shift also that's going to happen. So put it this way. This is a life-changing decision, which would mean you would go from either being single to not. And if it's a career decision, it's huge. Like, this would be someone's big break. That you would go from this is nothing to something. A bitch. I better not have looked fat like that either. Let me recreate it. Oh, I did look fat, didn't I? Fuck. I'm just being chubby right now. Where did this weight come from? <sighs> I guess it is because my period's coming any day now. Page of Pentacles. I told you there's an offer. Someone's sitting on something. You or them. Someone's sitting on it. Or it's not ready yet, but I don't feel like that. I feel like it's done and it's ready, but they're afraid on how they're going to approach. Something to that effect. Afraid of how they will approach i don't know how else to say it yeah there she is queen of swords with the tower Whew. 
that is so queen of swords honey explosive because you'll cut a bitch she makes decisions though somebody's gonna come and tell her you need to make a decision right now you need to make a decision right now she would say shut the fuck up back the fuck off you want me then you better wait very mm. also sudden something happens really suddenly too whether this is a sudden offer that lands on your lap whether something like literally just presents itself out of sheer thin air i don't know but there's something here that may cause the queen of swords energy to have to come out she may have to come on and tell somebody to shut the fuck up she might have to also this could be that this offer really just rocks her she's so in control y'all queen of swords and she's she's watching she's calculated she's very sure i know what i'm gonna do i know she's that kind of an energy and this comes in and rocks her world like this tower energy and she just goes i don't know what i i don't know but what do you mean you don't know i don't know almost it catches her off guard see weighing things out not being sure why i don't know but not being sure maybe because it seems too good to be true maybe because it came in so quickly six of cups again thursday's reading it was the first card somebody wants to give you something they want to court your ass maybe some of you you got to go to court honey i'm not sure you better check with your motherfucking po's okay make sure you're straight honey i don't know um but six of cups is past it's nostalgia it is mm, a deep deep soulmate connection honey oh there's the offer holy motherfucker look what's on the bottom of that bitch love for some of you it's love and career or either or depends but look at that ace of cups and the ace of pentacles career change possible moving and then love true love some of you what this is is this is you meet somebody and really quickly you guys fall madly in love and then all of a sudden it's so we're getting married or what well bitch i don't know are we can you court me a little i was talking about this in thursday reading that the six of cups to me felt a little bit of like being courted you gonna court me or not you gonna buy me little jars of jam or not you gonna bring me little cute flowers or not no baby i won't buy you a house and a bentley yeah obviously we're not talking about that though because if i need to i provide that for my motherfucking self what you need to provide is those other little things those other little things that money can't buy you providing that or not because that's me i don't give a fuck what you can buy me that's not important to me what's important to me is can you give me the things that money can't buy because i can provide for my own somebody's got big decisions a year from now oh i love this this card is all about something that you've asked for is set to happen this year i mean i know it's not helpful for most of you bitches you be all oh bitch 2019 thanks for being so general oh you lucky they said that you know they the spirit can be very weird about us tapping into the exact time frame of things because time is an illusion big happy changes again boom didn't see it coming wasn't what you were expecting i thought i wanted this one i thought i wanted this job this one comes in out of left field rocks my fucking world it's going to be the most obvious things to the people this is the, the whole thing about mercury in retrograde and then it's being pisces season truth is an illusion it'll be right under your nose it'll be staring at you like this the, the truth of what it is is right in front of you and you are fucking oblivious to it and then the universe has to intervene because remember the tower is also course correction it's universal energy the universe is going to intervene and cross you guys paths and smack you guys faces together like this and it's going to be oh oh i didn't see that coming plot twist is my point there's a big plot twist here all right agatha christie's and motherfucking sherlock holmes and horatio canes uh magnum pis we call in everybody to duty here you're reporting for duty because <laughs> there's a 
lot of things that are gonna be popping off. <laughs> go get your CSI dusting kit, honey. You may have to go and investigate with the black light over there, honey. Um, you might. I don't know. It's gonna be a lot of changes. Anyways, you guys, I am so stressed out. <laughs> But I'm also super excited to be flying out tomorrow to Cali. Um, it's really going to get exciting when we're actually in Cali. Because right now we're like, ha ah. I'm shipping out all the bracelets that everyone's ordered. Not the bloom ones. Because remember, the bloom ones are not going to be ready yet. You pre-ordered those. So all of the other bracelets are all going out today. Um, I still have to wash clothes. I know this is not TMI, so I'm sorry, you guys. I'm venting with my friends. I got to wash fucking clothes. We got to do our nails, me and my baby. I got a clean house because I don't like to go on vacation with a messy house because I like to come back home to it being clean. That's just me. I don't like that. It's already chaotic and you're tired when you come home from vacation, right? You know you're going to be leaving your suitcase out for two fucking weeks, maybe two months for some of you. I mean, me sometimes two months. I just want the house to be clean, so we got to clean the fucking house. Oh, my God. I got to get my door prizes ready for my event. and It's a lot, but I'm excited. You guys I have the best job in the world. I really do. And I can't wait to meet you guys that are coming out to see me. I love you guys so much. Tickets are completely sold out, you guys. I'm sorry. I'll be coming to San Fran again really soon because San Fran's event is so tiny. I made it tiny on purpose. I promise you guys I'll do another San Fran event. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys soon. I want sweatpants. Love you guys. Bye.